in this application, the QuizMe app, you're being asked to uh, test your consumer's knowledge in a specific way. So you're going to develop a quiz that is engaging, uh, that the user can click a button and go to the next question and receive a correct or incorrect feedback on your uh, their response. You must have at least five questions in any format that you choose. Uh, you might want to use a sound or an image for each question, and you want to tally your incorrect and uh, correct. Um, for those of you a little bit more advanced, you want to maybe add some playability to this, like time limits, uh, different point values. Other things that you can do is keep track of the answers. Uh, so, you, you know, like a personality quiz or, you know, which Disney character are you is keep track of their answers to the questions and then give them some type of final outcome. To give you a basic overview of the layout for the demonstration app, we can see here, uh, this is a fill in the blank. So we have an image up here. So where does this professional basketball team uh, play? So you're gonna see, I'm gonna type in Milwaukee. I can then hit submit and I get the correct response. Then I have to manually click next. What year did this movie come out? I'm going to answer this one wrong, and I'm going to say 2005. And we're going to see I have a Smith, and I get incorrect with an incorrect label. Uh, I can either guess this one again, or I can move on to the next question. What is the name of the school? Fairview, Smith. So what you're going to see happens is I get a correct, incorrect response. I have a photo that loads, and all my questions are text box. But I'm going to do this one again, and I'm going to do Fairview without a capital letter. I'm going to submit, mm -hmm. and you're going to see I get an incorrect response because, again, what we're going to see in the code, you have to give it specifically the answers that you'll accept because Fairview was a, a proper noun, capital F, it doesn't accept this. You can also see if I have two incorrect uh, guesses, I get that I've lost and that my game or my quiz resets itself. So again, this is just a starter for a demo app. Uh, you're obviously gonna wanna uh, build your own and we'll get into the coding and the design of that uh, later on. But the question to ask yourself now is what type of quiz do you wanna create? And uh, meaning true, false, multiple choice, fill in the blank like we've seen there. And then thinking about how we can build that app. 